I do. It was a very special day on Sodor. A wedding was to take place at the Norrenby Church. The vicar was at Tidmouth Sheds with Sir Topham Hatt. He was going to tell the engines the news. I will be officiating a wedding today at Norrenby Church Station. The engines were very excited. And we have agreed that Edward will pick up the guests from the harbour and take them to the church. Thank you, sir. Edward? Why Edward? Surely a grand red engine like me should be taking the guests? Well, James, Edward has had much more experience with taking guests to weddings. And what do you mean by that? Edward took me to mine in Lady Hat's wedding. Sir Topham Hat continued. The most wonderful day of my life. Our wedding car broke down, and that's when we saw Edward, who offered to take us to the wedding. He saved our special day. Jane, do you take Topham to be your lawfully wedded husband? I do. And Topham, do you take Jane to be your lawfully wedded wife? I do. I now pronounce you husband and wife. And that's why I'm trusted Edward with this responsibility. Thank you, sir. I promise to do my best. And Edward puffed off. When Edward arrived at the big harbour, he saw lots of smartly dressed wedding guests walk off the ship and board his coaches. Edward was very excited. He hadn't been to a wedding in a very long time. As Edward was puffing through the countryside, he noticed a big long car with ribbons stuck on the side of the tracks. Is there a problem? Edward then saw the bride run out of the car, panicking. Help! My wedding is about to start, but the car broke down, and now we're going to be late! Edward thought hard. Then he had an idea. If you hop into my cab, I can take you to the wedding in no time. What a great idea! The bride was very relieved. Do you take this offer to be my lawfully wedding train? The bride joked. Ha <laughs> ha, I do. Edward laughed. Soon the big ribbon was fixed onto Edward and the wedding train set off. And in no time at all, Edward first dropped off the guest at the station and then puffed grandly up to the church. Bride stepped out of the cab with a dress as white as a cloud. The church bells rang and the bride walked down the aisle. Do you take this man to be your wedded husband? I do. I now pronounce you husband and wife. And the crowd erupted with cheers. After the ceremony, the bride ran up to Edward. I can't thank you enough, Edward. This whole day would have been a disaster without you. It was an honour to be a wedding train again. Well, Edward, do you take me to be your lawfully new best friend? The bride giggled. Ha <laughs> ha, yes I do. And they both laughed.